Hello everyone. So today's video is a different one, something I haven't done in a while. So this is actually a February favorites of skincare and makeup, but I'm going to apply it and I'm going to show you guys like how I use it and what my routine is and what my favorite products have been and you get to see them in action. I thought this would be really fun to do and I'll have any discount codes that I have available for some of these brands down below. I know I have one for Hourglass, which is awesome to get like 10% off of Hourglass at any time. <laughs> freaking love that so all that will be linked down below also comment down below what are your february favorites i love hearing from you guys and getting recommendations and then let me know if you want to see a monthly favorites of just lifestyle products that i can maybe do on my life and maddie channel if you guys would be interested in that let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you want to continue seeing kind of a get ready with me using my favorite products that month if you guys like the style. I loved getting feedback from you guys. You guys helped me out with that. I appreciate it. Give the video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into this get ready with me using my favorite products right now. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. First off, we're gonna start off with skincare. So some products that I have been absolutely loving right now is this one from Tatcha. It's the Essence. Oh my God, this stuff. I've been trying other Essence too from other brands and nothing can compare to Tatcha's. Tatcha so far is trumping everything and I just keep like going back to this one. But this one is so nice. I love it. It's great to put on before your moisturizer. It helps your skincare be more effective and like to sink in. And then another product that I have been obsessed with for honestly over a month now is the Tatcha Silk Cream. This is my favorite moisturizer from them. This one, it makes your skin feel so good. It's actually like literally this might be the last time that I'm using it <laughs> because it's, it's gone. But this is the best moisturizer. I love it for morning and night. It works awesome for underneath my makeup. It works awesome for nighttime. It gives me just the right amount of hydration. Oh, it is the best and it feels so good on the skin. So also you guys, I self tan, which is why I'm wearing like a really like big sweatshirt right now because I want to try out this new self tanner. This is from Loving Tan. It's their two hour express. I think I have a code with them. I think it's like Madison Miller or Madison. I got to check it out, but I'll have it linked down below, but they just came out with an ultra dark version of their two hour express. So I'm trying that out right now. We're going to see how this works. I will give you guys an update in the description box down below because I'm going to keep this on for a few hours and then wash it off. I'm a little worried though. I feel like it might be a little blotchy. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. I hope it turns out okay. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous right now. Mm. But also another product that I've been loving for my lips right here is the Patchology Lip Service. It's the Gloss to Balm Treatment. This stuff gives you like that minty menthol smell and it just feels so good on your lips. So I actually put this on before I get ready. I have it in my little drawer right there and I just let this like seep in while I'm doing my makeup before I put on my lip products at the end. And then for my last skincare product before I go to like the makeup, I use the Pharmacy. This is their Wake Up Honey Eye Cream. This stuff is amazing. I love this. It goes on so nicely underneath your eyes. It goes perfectly underneath makeup. It doesn't make my concealer crease at all. So I do this every single morning before I put on my foundation. Now for my primer and my sunscreen. This stuff, I've gotten so many people asking about it because I've been using it a lot in my TikTok and like Instagram videos. It is so good. My mom is the one that actually got me hooked on this. This is from Chantecai, which Chantecai, oh, their products are so amazing. This is their Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen. It has an SPF of 45 in it, and it's a primer too. Let me just show you. So you want to shake it up, and then you put it on your hands like that, just a little bit. Rub it in, and it gives the most beautiful glow to the skin like look at that you can just see it oh it gives the most beautiful glow to the skin and it's great to wear underneath your makeup and it's an spf of 45 too so i use this every single day i'm like obsessed with shantikai right now okay so now we're gonna get into a foundation so i go back and forth just depending on what type of coverage or what I'm doing that day between two foundations. And these are two foundations I've been loving. These are also from Shantikai. 
they are so freaking good so this first one is the future skin cushion right here and this gives your skin the most beautiful finish it's so lightweight but it has good coverage to it like you definitely will if you have like acne spots or something you're gonna have to use a little bit of concealer but it gives great coverage that still looks like skin and it looks beautiful like if you have any fine lines or wrinkles this does not sit in any of them it is so beautiful on more mature skin it's beautiful on every skin type but like for more mature skins it's really hard to find like a foundation that's not going to seep into those fine lines and wrinkles and this one is not going to do it. like you will die for this one it is oh my phone is going off but it is awesome so it looks like a little cushion i use a foundation brush in it instead of the sponge um, but there's that one that I'll use and then the other foundation from Shantakai that I really love is their future skin oil-free gel foundation Also in nude honestly when I'm self tan I might need like a little bit of a darker shade than this one And I know I'm gonna be getting darker throughout this video. So we're gonna see how this is gonna go but I love this one too. It has a little bit more coverage than this one, but it still looks beautiful on the skin does not settle into any fine lines or wrinkles. Oh my God, you guys, like my mom. When I got into Shantakai, we were shopping at Nordstrom and I was like, mom, what is on your skin? I'm like, it looks so freaking good. I've never seen like freaking foundation look so pretty. And she's like, it's Shantakai. And so she took me to the little like booth there in Nordstrom because you get this at Nordstrom. And I she got me some and I was I've been falling in love ever since so the one thing bad about this one is it takes a little bit longer to apply so if I'm in a rush like I can't go to this because it just it just takes a bit longer to build up so then I go to this one when I want a little bit more coverage and a faster application and oh, it is so amazing I just take a little bit and put this on my skin I actually need to get a mirror I'm like why don't I have a mirror right now <laughs> I need to get a darker color for when I'm self tan because I know when I have like my like full on self tan it does this isn't dark enough but we just make it work so I'm just gonna take this brush right here from it cosmetics it's my favorite uh, elf cosmetics actually came out with a dupe of it right here which is pretty nice but in all honesty it it still just can't compare with the it cosmetics one but i just blend this in and it just blends like look at that it just blends like skin it's so beautiful and then you can build up with it too but oh, i'm just obsessed with it and then i just take my beauty blender and i just press this all into the skin after i apply it with the brush this is definitely like a little like updated makeup routine because i haven't done or shown my makeup routine i feel like in a really long time over here on youtube so this is what I've been doing kind of for every day, to be honest. And these are the products I've just been obsessed with. For the times that I need a little extra coverage, this is when I go in with the Glow Skin Beauty Concealer. I have talked about this for years. I am still a huge lover. I purchase this all the time. I always have backups too, and it's just the best. So whenever I just need a little extra coverage, like by my nose, I just place that there and then I'm also going to be adding in another liquid concealer but I'm just doing this just to give me a little bit more about my nose because my nose is a little red today. All right so I don't like to go in with concealer at this point. I actually rather go in with my bronzer and this is another one that everyone's been asking me about. This is the Milani Liquid Contour Conceal and Perfect in 01 Honey. This is basically the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one that everyone uses. I have the Charlotte Tilbury one. And honestly, you guys, I like this one more. One, I love the fact that you have so many different like shade options to it when Charlotte Tilbury I think only has two. And then I like the fact that the applicator is smaller. So it makes it easier to contour your nose and everything because it just gives you a little bit more of a precise application than the Charlotte Tilbury one because that one's a little bit fatter. So this is the one I love. And then what I love to do is I go in with this Fenty Beauty face. It's a 125 brush. It's more dense and it's got an angle to it. And I take this and I just press it into the skin and I blend everything out. And what's great about doing the bronzer first like this is that I'm going to go in with the concealer after and the concealer will help clean it all up. So I can be messy with it and it will be fine. 
So I'm just going to press this into the skin, but this is such a good dupe. Look at that, it's like, see? You can get messy with it, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I clean it up. But um, it's such a good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. Which I don't even know, can you, like I think that one is like sold out everywhere too. Bring this down here. So I use this to kind of blend it all out. I'm gonna show you guys like my whole little process here because it looks messy right now. Then you take the beauty blender and you blend. Press it into the skin and this is what allows everything just to look seamless. And now what I do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna clean up and I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. This is the best concealer. This one and Laura Mercier are my hands down favorite concealers. The shade that I'm using right now is Oat. I use Oat when I'm a little bit more self-tanned and then I use Creme when I am like between a self-tan and then when I'm kind of more fair. But I just pop this in right here, right there. Don't use much, because a little bit goes a long way. And then I take it in the center of my forehead and then on my chin. And then I just love the way that this one blends out. It's got great coverage. It literally just smooths and like brightens up your face and it's just perfect. I just also love the way that it just blends out. It blends out so seamless. Then I always take a little bit of leftover concealer and I bring this to my lids. And then sometimes I go in here with this brush and I just kind of do another little touch over. But there that is. So that just shows you like how much it cleans up that bronzer. Then I go in with my blush. And this one I've been loving from Rare Beauty. This is in Happy. I have two shades in this one. I have another lighter pink, but I love a bright pink blush. Like I'm obsessed. So I just do a couple little dots there. I use this brush from Fair Beauty that I got like in an Ipsy bag a long time ago. I like this one because it's nice and fluffy, but it's dense. So it's great for cream and like liquid blushes. I gotta wash my brushes after this, you guys. They are so dirty. And then I just saw Bailey tweet like a, a tweet today, like saying like, wash your like crusty makeup brushes. And I was like, oh my God, I feel attacked right now. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I've been needing to wash mine for weeks and I keep putting it off. So I definitely need to do that after I film this video. But see how pretty that blush is? Oh, I love it. And then again, I always just go in with my beauty blender after and it just blends everything in just like seamlessly. But it just, love it. It's gorgeous. It's time to set the face. So I still love this Laura Mercier powder, oh, still my fave. Nothing's replacing it. And I just take it with a flat like Sigma brush. This is their F67, I think. And I just set my face with this. So let me know what you guys think about these types of videos of basically doing the monthly favorites, but trying the products on. Cause I know that like, I never, I always talk about products and I talk to it, but I rarely show application. So I wanted to show you guys like how this stuff applies and how I do it to, you know, so you guys can see it in action. See if you're gonna like, you know, like it for yourself. So I was hoping that this one will be a little bit more helpful for you. So now we're gonna go into the powders. So it's funny cause you know, you do cream and everything, but then I tend to still go into powders every so often. So if I'm going into a bronzer right now, this is the matte bronzer from Sigma in light. I've been using this one for the last couple weeks and I've been really, really liking it. It blends out really beautiful on the skin, which is great. And it's just a really, really pretty bronzer shade. So just bring this up here. And I don't go too heavy. I just do a light dusting just to kind of bring it back like that. And then for blush, I love to top off my blush with the ColourPop one. This is in the shade Sweetheart. And it's in their like, this was their like, I forgot, was this like their Valentine's? It might be from their Valentine's line, but I've been using it for a while. And it's such a pretty pink. So I just top that off like so. And these are also so affordable too. They're so good. Like you cannot go wrong with ColourPop. 
And then for a highlight that I have been loving, that literally looks like skin, it has the most beautiful finish, is from Bobbi Brown. It's their highlighting powder in Peach Glow. It is so pretty. Like, let me just swatch it for you. I think my dog is. Look at that. So pretty. I use it with this Jaclyn Hill brush right here. And I, let me go get my dog. All right, sorry, Elsa was scratching at the door. But I love it because it's, it's, it looks like it's like pretty intense there because of the light, but it's actually such a nice, like subtle highlight that looks like your skin. And it's just really, really pretty. And then I always, again, even though it's a powder, I just go in and I just kind of press everything together and it's just makes it so seamless and pretty. I love it. All right, so now let's put these brows on because I've got, they're, they're so light and low, so sparse. I don't even pluck them. That's what the crazy thing is. They, I don't even pluck my brows. They just don't grow. I love the Sigma brow powder. I think I have a code with them too. Like anything here that I might have a code with, I will have it linked down below for you guys with, I'll put it next to the links of the products so you can use that at checkout. I'm always like, I look for codes like religiously whenever I shop online, I love it. So this is their brow powder in light. So I go in with the darker side on the outer corner and then I fill in with this one on the inner corner. So I'm just gonna do that really fast. And when I went to Florida, <laughs> I forgot, like you guys, I cannot believe it. I brought my brushes, but I forgot my eyebrow brush. And I was like, how do I do my eyebrows? I don't have my brush. And so I went to Ulta that night because they had one near Ross's parents' house and I bought this one from It Cosmetics and it's actually really, really good. I've been like actually like somewhat replacing my other one with this one. So this is a great brush for powder. So if you are on the hunt for one, I will link this one down below, but I've been really, really enjoying it. And I honestly like powder because it lasts longer. I'm not constantly buying a pencil over again. And then it's actually a lot faster to apply too. Like I do my brows 10 times faster with the powder than I do with my pencil. So, and I love the shade from Sigma Beauty too. Like this is my favorite powder. I've tried other ones, nothing's comparing. It's it's Sigma all the way, ride or die. Okay, so brows are done and I love to set them with this guy right here. So this is from Benefit, it's their Fluff Up Brow Wax. So good, so good. Ah, I like this so much more than their like setting brow, like their other one. Oh, I've been loving this. So I just set them with this all over and brush up. I think another thing of why I like this one is that it's easier to open. Their other one is really, really hard for me to open. So I think that's like another, another plus there. But yeah, and then what I do also is if I need to clean up my brows, I just use this Sigma concealer brush right here. It's got a nice little angle and I use a little bit of my Glow Skin Beauty Concealer and I just clean up my brows and like kind of help shape them and all that so that's my brow routine there and holy moly we're like already almost done with my routine you know what we should do is also because I rarely honestly if I'm going out I am using a liner like sometimes I do a little bit of shadow but then I do a liner with the benefit liner which is so good let me show you I'm not gonna do it today but this is a liner I love it's bomb. They have it in brown and black. It's their Real Extreme Precision Liner. I've already repurchased this myself. It's so good. But if it's like an everyday thing, what I do is I actually, I love these brushes from Laura Lee that she came out with. These are also really, really good. I'm gonna link these ones down below. But I'll take a little bit ooh, of my bronzer and I just lightly dab in there and I just fluff this into my crease just to add a little bit of definition in my eyes. Like there is like the difference. And that's all I do really quickly. Cause it's nice cause like I have lash extensions so they're full and it kind of already looks like my eye makeup is kind of, like my eyes are already 
put together and I really just I hate spending time on eyeshadow nowadays I only do it if I'm going out at night but this is what I do for every day sometimes I don't even do bronzer in the crease but that just like adds like a little bit more in there and then for this month I have two liners and a lipstick of what I've been getting questions asked about lately and so I'm going to share them both with you but these have been my favorite so I go back and forth I get questions asked about this one a lot this is from Buxom their lip liners are so good they last a long time they glide on they're pigmented and this color is called dangerous dolly and it's just so good it has a little lip brush on the bottom of it but I don't use it but this is it's oh my god it's gonna go with the empties it doesn't turn up anymore oh it makes me so sad so this is the color right here it is really really pretty it's a beautiful like deep mauve that I am obsessed with so I line my lips all with that and then I will top it off with this lipstick or I will use this lip liner right here from Makeup Forever, which these ones are also absolutely amazing. I really love this color. This is called 604 Up and Down Tan. And it's a really, I gotta sharpen it, but you can see it. It's a really pretty like pinky brown. So I'm gonna use this one, but I gotta sharpen it because I've... I've used it a lot already, so I gotta sh I gotta make this a little bit sharper. But yeah, so I've been going back and forth between those two, but my poor Buxom one is almost gone. That makes me really, really sad right now. I put it on top of the lip um, thing, which is totally fine, but that's what it looks like. If you don't have that lip balm on first, it's a little bit more matte. But then the lipstick that I've been using to pop on, like on top of everything lately, has been the Creme de Nude from MAC. Like this is, you guys, this is like one of their holy grails right here. It is so good. You can see just how much I've used. This one's probably going to be going here soon. So these have just been like, all of these have been my daily faves. Like I use every day. But I just love a nude lip in the center. And then having a darker lip liner on the out and then I just blend it and that's like my everyday lip color right there okay so those are my February favorites right there you guys this has been my everyday makeup routine that I do all the time and then I kind of swap things in every now and then of trying out new products and if I really like the product then it kind of sticks and it sticks into my routine until like I use it up and then I need to grab a new one this is what's been sticking right now I've been loving these products for a while so I'll have everything linked down below I hope you guys enjoyed the style of February favorites for makeup let me know if you guys want a like a monthly favorites for a lifestyle I can do that one too maybe over on my life and Maddie channel let me know in the comments down below I would love to hear from you guys hope you enjoyed it love you give the video a thumbs up and also comment down below what are your February favorites I like to hear from you guys and get some recommendations from you and I'll see you all in my PR haul on Saturday bye